Today is about great vinyl finds. Everyone is always looking for the best deals and records in uh, the best shape. And you never ever know about uh, where to look for high quality, good quality records. Of course, if you look on eBay, Amazon, whatnot, uh, then when people advertise a record that it's in perfect condition, near mint or mint, then they are really expensive. So how to find ones that are in great superb condition but cost you a penny? So here we go. This is one recipe. Look if your recording was withdrawn from a collection of a library. So I'm consistently finding that the University of Hawaii Music Department withdrawn copies are in exceptional shape and that be, that's because UH they withdraw their music if there is no interest in them so if in five years no one is looking for this record peop, there's zero listening for a record they just withdraw it from the collection regardless of the uh, actual value or rarity or quality of the recording so this is such a find uh, and then of course where can you find these recordings so usually universities and libraries they donate their withdrawn copies to local record sales so check out your local record sales like public radio record sale and stuff like that and that's where you will find many of the withdrawn university copies. And I have noticed that uh, most of the UH withdrawn records, they are basically brand new with zero listening events or maybe one listening. So they list you <laughs> listen to it only once or less. And this is such a perfect specimen. And it is really, really wonderful music. So that was a great catch. Of course, I get it at the last day of the record sale. This was already a couple of years back, but on the last days, we usually get this buy a whole box of records for $20, which means like 100 records for $20. So this was a 20 cent price for an absolutely stellar sounding record. Same thing is true for this box set. And uh, box sets are usually such great finds because no one in their right mind is collecting a box set. And even if they collect it, they never ever listen to it. And, uh, and, and when they, when someone who has collected a bunch of box sets the person passes away or has to move down to a smaller home and donate all of his collection, then this is what you are left of with, that they donate their whole collection to, uh, to a record sale and they, they sell it off. And, and this one, to begin with, was a special price, this set. So you would expect nothing from this, right? Because this is a box set who cares about it and it was half price to begin with and and look at the cover it's an absolute mess it, it's torn on every corner it, it's like a dog's dinner but wait a sec uh, when you look uh, at the records themselves they are in pristine condition <laughs> never used and guess what they are all first pressings so, so that's why when the, I would say the best place to look for records are record sales. And if you see uh, even like questionable looking uh, records like this, I mean on the box is questionable, just open it up and look what's inside because it might be treasure. So this is my message for today. Look for... Uh, university library discarded copies if it's like a public library or state library 
I found that those when uh, they donate them when they are listened to a shred. So they are usually quite mediocre to poor quality, but usually like university music department uh, copies that are redrawn, they are redrawn because they have never been listened to. And the universities, they need the space in, in the shelves for the new material. So thank you for checking in and happy record hunting. Please like and subscribe. Bye bye.